rock, paper, scissors. Really? Beers? So the entire episode actually, you know, was really quite simple, okay? The first part, you know, was really actually a quick one. Like, for example, like, you know, in the perfect time, you know, the perfect time like it was in the Battle of Gods movie, you know, the first time, you know, was the, the, you know, the Rat of Vegeta. So, you know, show advice for all future villains of Ramble. If any of you try to hurt Bulma, or, you know, even if you try to invade Earth, try to conquer it, destroy it, whatever, if you try to do something to, to Bulma, you will face Vegeta's wrath in a really, really hurtful way. Permanently. So, like I said, the first part was, you know, Vegeta and Beerus, and in a much furious, much more excited way, like it was in Battle of Gods. Maybe even if that was, you know, the typical, you know, battle time, I mean, the animation was really quite simple, you know. It was actually quite good. Well, it's, I mean, it was not detailed as it was in Battle of Gods, you know. But in some sort of way, it was like an old-fashioned Rumble Z type. If we talk, if I can put it in that way. So that was the, the the one part. The other part was the second part was actually the, the one was awkward, very odd, but funny parts I ever saw in any Dragon Ball series, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT. Rock, paper, scissors. Game against Olong, the, the Porky Pink Pig, because that's how I call them since I was eight years old, and Lord Beers. Really? <laughs> I mean, no, because like Beers said, that will be, you know, the conclusion, or so to say, if, you know, if Ula, if the Porky Pig, you know, wins this battle, Beers will spare Earth, but if he wins, Earth is gone. And the other part was the final arrival of Goku and offering viewers enough time, you know, to give him uh, some new information, or should I say answers, but Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Jin Goto, you know, to Lord Beerus. Everybody, if you watch the Battle of Gods, you all know what's gonna happen. Drambos, the power of Shenron. And he will be the one who explains to Beerus who Super Saiyan Jin Goto is. Super Saiyan God. So, if we go on the details, you know, the final between Beerus and Vegeta was really quite amazing. In a few, in, we were talking about time, was you know, maybe it was exactly, not very exactly the same time, like it was in the Battle of Gods, but you can say in some sort of way. You know, you know, the fury that Vegeta had, you know, because of what he did to Bulma, you know, he already transformed into Super Saiyan number two. You know, with all electricity and power and everything, because every time, you know, every, because you really explain with Goku and everybody else. When a Super Saiyan is angry, he gets much more powerful than he is in the normal statues. Like he was, like he was before. So, in some sort of way, you know, he almost reached, you know, the level rank, you know, uh, of a god. But no matter what, Lord Beerus is a god, like I said before. A god destruction, and he only needed one hit, one single movement, which was something like that, something like that. I, I actually you know, you know, when I saw the video, when I saw the episode, I really didn't actually recall what, I mean, how they had to do that. You know, I think it was something like that, you know, like or like that, or something like that. You know, like you're boring me in some sort of way. So he only needed one blow to. Knock him out. Even if all the rage Vegeta had after you know Beerus, what he did to Bulma and everything, Lord Beerus needed only one knockout, you know, to destroy Go uh, Vegeta and everybody else. And the other part, you know, is when he was already you know getting you know, to get destroyed uh, Planet Earth because he didn't find out about Super Saiyan Jin Goto and everything, and he chose Porky Pig, you should I say Olong, you know, to make a uh, you know stone paper scissor game. And you know what will be, you know, the fate of Earth. In that stupid, yeah, 
I admit, for me, when I was little, it was kind of amusing, but now, but now, it really seems like some kind of a stupid game. You know, I mean, you know, like, when you're talking about when you're doing a game like that into a normal person, it's funny and amusing. When we're doing it to a god, it's really actually stupid and odd. Even for me, it was really kind of shocking that Lord Beerus know, knew this game. So the only Earthlings will know. Even if he go, if he's got destruction and lives on another different planet, in another you know uh, destination of the universe, really quite odd. Even if Whis gives him a lot of information about every single planet he tried to visit, or he doesn't know about it. In some sort of way. And when we talk about Whis, the only thing seems what we had in, uh, with him was that you know, when he was trying to eat, you know, the sushi food and everything, with that uh, sushi chef trying to prepare him, when he was drinking tea, you know, and tried, to, you know, he was uh, complimenting the cook, you know, that he's, you know, preparing wonderful dishes and everything. And the other part, you know, he was saying to Whis, you know, that he was saying to Lord Pierce that he already prepared a pack of food, that he's, that it's going to be a rain, you know, to be eaten and everything, you know, when they're going to get back, you know, to their own home planet. Even before, you know, when he was trying to destroy the, the Earth, before Goku arrived. And we're talking about, you know, in the middle time, three times they, you know, three times they were, were battling. Two times were equal. Both them scissors. The next time... He put rock, Larbirus put the rock, and Oolong scissors. And if you already know the game, rock beats the scissors by crushing them. In some sort of way, Oolong lose, okay, but like all, you know, the way in Dragon Ball Universe he always did. Because if you remember, you only have two categories where you can put Oolong. In the Dragon Ball universe, how I call him, you know, that's how I talk, you know, I say about him and when I'm, you know, since I was eight. First time I watched Dragon Ball. Watched. Number one, pervert universe. Number two, cowardice. Because as far as like, everybody watched Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT, everybody knows he's a total 100% coward. If he was a champion of cowardness, he'll be the number numero uno. He'll be the champion. And the other part is like Master Roshi, pervert. Those are the only two categories where you can take, you know, all on. Courage, nothing. Wise, nada. Tactician, zero. Nothing. Only two categories. Is what, I, what I learned watching Bramble Universe and watching even him. So, you know, oh yeah, the third part, stupidity. This is the only three categories you're going to put this Porky Peak. Bramble Universe Porky Peak. So, that was the second part. And we were also not quite amazing. Well, no, no, what not amazing. Mostly funny and awkward. You know, when they play this game, you know, Beerus and Port and should I say Olong. Because like Beerus said remind him remind him of Majin Buu. Not only because, you know, because you can see Olong is a pig. Majin Buu is totally jelly pink stuff that created by BBD. And they're different. The only thing that are really are in common is their color. The skin color. Pink. That's the only that's the only thing. So that was the second part, and it was really not quite amusing, should I say, much more funny and awkward in a almost, you know, all the time, you know, playing the game between a god and an old mortal, even if he is a pig. It was really quite entertaining. It was entertaining, really, actually. Really entertaining, you know. And the other part, you know, was simple. Kakarot arrived there, saving the day, trying to persuade all viewers not to destroy the world, and of course, what he offers an ultimate way to find out a bit more about Super Saiyan Goto, Super Saiyan God, Power of Shenron, the Dragon Balls. Which also, when we talk about Dragon Balls, I probably forgot to mention one single part you know, when you see in the cruise ship and Emperor Pilaf, the amazing Pilaf Sama, you know, 
<laughs> with his henchmen, you know, trying you know, to, you know, with a little lifeboat, you know, what should I say? Yeah, a lifeboat in some sort of way, you know, trying to escape, you know, from the drambles and everything. And we're trying to argue, and they forgot, you know, to put all the food inside, you know, trying to save their lives, save their asses and everything. And of course, they were trying to suggest that they, you know, to, they have to go back to find the drum balls because, like, you know, the drum ball detector, well, the pillow, the pillow had drum balls are in the ship. And we, and they had to find them. So it was one single part. Even it actually was a small part, you know, small scene in this episode, but really quite amazing. So, like I said, here I am done. Because, like, the end of the episode was Goku right there trying to persuade Lord Beerus, you know, to give him a chance to find out much more about Super Saiyan God. And the answer is Dragon Balls. Because everybody, if you watch if you watch Battle of Gods, you know what I'm talking about. So, like I said, I'm done. Read the video, comment, subscribe, give me a positive, give me some give me some future posts, think about this episode. The battle between Vegeta and Beerus about the animation. Because I thought the animation was really, you know, the animation was simple. But in some sort of way, it was still good. It was still good. So, drop a like, I appreciate it. Peace, everyone. Have an awesome rest of the day. Rest of the night in Europe, the other side of the world, and awesome rest of the day. Have an awesome uh, rest of the night over uh, Fuck what I said. So like I said, peace everyone, and awesome rest of the night here in Europe, the other side, and awesome rest of the day, Lord Shell sign off. See you around again sometime soon. Drumble super ultra say drumble. Great fans. See you around.